few performance cars have been lavished with a more consistent flow of praise by hot hatchback aficionados than the Renault Megane RS. This car has bossed the fast front drive niche for most of its life, having appeared with that memorable bustle back styling in 2004 and promptly set new class benchmarks for driver involvement and handling poise. But it'll take something to reclaim that familiar old perch now, with the Honda Civic Type R having become a brilliant driver's car in its own right and the Volkswagen Golf GDI, incoming seat beyond Cupra R and four-wheel drive Ford Focus RS suddenly making competition in the segment seem little less fierce than what Renault's been coming up against in Formula One of late. For that reason and others, you could call the launch of this third-generation Megane RS, it's also the performance version of the fourth-gen Megane, confusingly something of a watershed moment. Can the firm that brought us the flawed Clio RS200 rediscover its sparkling form of old? Does Dieb still have whatever it was that made so many of its hot hatchbacks so good for so long, or is it lost forever? Has Renault's Alpine A110 sports car, brilliant as it may be, swallowed up so much engineering talent that what could be considered Renault Sport's most important product has been left undernourished? It'd be understandable. But forgivable? I'm not so sure. Some good news would definitely be welcome, and maybe we're about to get some. Although it retains front-wheel drive, the fast Megane has been through an overhaul that would seem every bit as thorough and attentive, on paper, as that of any of its rivals. This third-generation version has a new 1.8-liter turbocharged engine that's smaller and lighter than the old car's 2.0-liter unit, delivering more power and torque than the Megane 275 bowed out with and which can be paired with a choice of six-speed manual or twin-clutch automatic gearboxes. Unlike in the Clio RS220 Trophy, then, you needn't be stuck with two pedals and two paddles if you don't want them. Told you there was good news. For suspension, the Megane RS sticks with struts up front and a torsion beam at the rear, but its front configuration has new geometry and retains Renault Sport's Perfil Hub technology, which reduces kingpin angle offset and therefore better resists torque and bump steer. The RS version rides 5mm lower than a Megane GT and has axle tracks widened by 45mm up front and 30mm at the rear. The car's chassis features two key technical departures, a four-wheel steering system and a set of hydraulic suspension bump stops. This isn't the first Renault Sport product to use the latter. Described by the company as a damper within a damper, the hydraulic suspension bump stops are independent fluid-filled shock absorbers that sit on the lower end of the front and rear suspension struts. And while they're commonly fitted to rally cars and the new Megane uses them at all four corners, the current Clio RS uses them too, on the front axle only, Dieppe's history with them stretches all the way back to the legendary Clio 182 trophy of 2005.